Yeah, almost in the middle of the Sahara. I can recall when I was here three years ago, there was basically nothing. And now almost a little city grew out of nothing. We need gas. We discovered some wells in Nawara since 2005. So it will help us to reduce the import from Algeria that cost a lot of money. One of the key ingredients for the success of such a big endeavor is seamless cooperation with your partners and with your stakeholders. And the most important being EDAP, our partner here in Tunisia. ETAP is our 50% joint venture partner. So it is natural that they have a very big interest in what's going on uh, with the project. That's why it is really important that this working relationship works perfectly. Unfortunately, it hasn't been easy because we had to do much more earthwork than we originally anticipated. So what you're seeing here is we had already to dig an entire mountain to flatten the area. Now things are starting to take shape. Most of the equipment uh, are already manufactured, waiting for shipment. I'm proud of the progress. I think the biggest challenge here is for us is always safety. Each day before starting a job, we have what we call a toolbox stop a forum to give instruction to people, but also it's an opportunity to worker to ask. And ask is the first HSSE golden rule in UMV. You may have the best HC management system in the world on paper, but if you don't cascade down all the hazards and all the requirements of safety to the individual workers, basically is we are doing nothing. This is my main task for the moment, and to ensure that everyone can work safely and, of course, with the good performers and efficiently and on time, and then back safely to his home. The road itself was already the first challenge, because first the road had to be built, and of course the road also has to be constantly maintained. We have driven over 10 million kilometers from project start to date. The most important hazard for us, road safety. We are constantly giving feedback to drivers, consequence management, either positive or negative. We are using IVMS and vehicle monitoring system to record every single violation on the road. Pipeline, we are very well progressing. More than 70% of the pipeline is already on the trench. We have ETAP engineers and ETAP experts on land management involved on the project from the day one. Land management is one of the important issues for this project because we have mainly the pipeline with 370 kilometers long between CPF and GTP. So we will encounter a lot of lands. Some of them are resolved immediately. Some of other mainly for the collective land and private land, we found a kind of difficulty. The main thing is to discuss with people, to convince them that this project is very important for Tunisia and for the region also. GTP will most likely finish before the CPF. The GTP is approximately middle of next year. We will reach mechanical completion. When you walk around here, you will see most of the equipment available on site. And we start putting all this equipment on their foundation. The most challenge in all projects was the interface, how to manage the interface between different packages. Interface between CPF pipeline, interface between pipeline and GTP, and also interface 
with stakeholders. We were well prepared with all required disciplines. And also, we have a lot of references here in Tunisia with other projects. Whenever we need support, we find it. One year ago, we were deeply into engineering and procurement. And if you look now, you have 250 kilometers of pipeline in the trenches. You have equipment in Gabes on the foundations. You also have the earthworks started in the south in CPF. So from the plant, we have pipelines connecting the plant to the wells. We are far progressing the trenching and soon we, they will start hydro testing and testing of the pipe before connecting to the plant and the wells. A country like Tunisia deserves the success of this project because Tunisia can rely more on their own gas reserve, but it will also give the local Tunisian people opportunities for jobs. For me, it's always amazing, and this is why I'm still in the project management business, to see things from the plant growing at site. Looking forward for the first gas.